Hey, you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. Much appreciated. And I'm here with my Epidendrum Stamfordianum in the middle of November. I've got 27 degrees temperature, which is a great thing. And I have a Stamfordianum in a pot over two years in Lekka and self-watering, which is also a great thing. And I have roots growing, which is fantastic. But, and there's always a but. Middle of November, in the Northern Hemisphere of Europe, Spain to be exact. Um, <laughs> yeah, what am I doing repotting this epidendrum this time of year? Now, just because the temperatures are nice this time of year, it doesn't mean they will always be nice. And it's looking like by the weekend, the temperatures are going to drop at night to the 12 degree mark. And if that holds true in the forecast, then I am going to have to bring some of these warm to hot growers inside. And having just been repotted, I think what I'm going to do is take advantage of the fact and just bring it inside with all the other ones that have been repotted at a later date in the year. However, timing, 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 just because the calendar says one thing, the orchid is saying something else, and I'm not going to be stuck with this for another 12 months. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what needs to be done. I have soaked in seaweed in calcium and magnesium over an hour, much longer than I would have liked, but I think it'll be okay. And let me see how the pot feels. The orchid herself has enough space in the pot to actually continue to stay in here, but we'll see what happens when we get her out of the pot and what decision I make regarding a bigger pot or something along those lines. On a beautiful day like this, there's a lot of gardening activity going on, fall cleanup. So if you hear the machinery in the background, I do apologize. However, it's gonna get even louder tomorrow, so I want to get this done ASAP, today. I'm keeping, trying to keep the lecker away from my new root tips. Until I see what's in the pot, I try to be as cautious with all roots. And only once I see what's going on can I say, okay, I can really go to town and get a bit more radical. But I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Look at that chunky root there. Look at this, woohoo, we like this. Check that out. Look at that. Oh yes, that's a good one. Let's keep it that way. Round and round, gently. Let's get the layers off. Like peeling an onion. Is anybody stuck? Nope. Everybody that I need to watch out for is loose. Oh, this is good. Woohoo. This is very good. Oh, very nice. This year, the Stamfordianum gave me two new growths. It bloomed for me last year, which was also very nice to see. Long lasting brooms really, really long lasting. Now, I am going to do my usual little thing to get this old version of my support out. I'm going to cut along the base. Even if there are good roots, I'm going to try and avoid all the root tips. That's the plan here, so that we can at least save all the new roots really baby those and if we have to be a little bit more radical regarding old roots 
then I'm okay with that. First of all, I'm gonna make my life easier and get this out of the way. And then let's see. Try and go in and see if we can dislodge some lecker before we actually get into the nitty gritty of selecting routes to go. This one doesn't look so good. And it isn't good. Nice to see how easily these are identified. Clear to see which one is gone and which ones are still really good. So we'll take our time. It's a beautiful day. No need to rush this. Go in with closed scissors. Clearly that's attached, what a shame. Gotta be careful as best as I can. And there's some really nice roots in the middle here that are actually already attached to the leka inside. I'm sorry if the wind against the microphone is causing distortions. That's a nice one. So this is gonna be a little bit of a fiddly undertaking. Always mindful of the roots that are brand new coming out the top. Be a shame to lose those. Okay, so this is a tiptoe job. And the reason I'm saying tiptoe, normally I would cut a third off the bottom to get that support out, but I have far too many beautiful roots down in there. So I'm gonna be working my way through this little mesh of new roots and old roots very carefully. A lot of things are, a lot of lecker is attached.
All right. There we go. Now, ideally, I would like to turn it upside down so I could have a proper look at what, how to get in there. So I'll continue cleaning this up and I'll be back when it's all done. I think we've got it. I think we've done it as best to what I would consider acceptable now. I've also gone in with the tweezers to try and dislodge the moss. What I'm trying to do now is just get rid of any of the small debris that's in there, which is, uh, it's just a habit. It's not like it's going to do any damage. It's so little, not much to speak of. Just one of those OCD things. I still have the roots from before. You saw that I peeled off the sheath that wasn't quite dry yet. So I took advantage of that timing as well. Normally repots, up pots, etc., do not go hand in hand with peeling sheaths. But if the timing is right, like with that one, then that's what we'll do. That's pretty clean. I found some fern roots in there, which I removed. And there's that root. I've still got it. There's the next growth or the flower spike because the spikes of a Stamfordianum come from the bottom which is like here, it looks like a growth, but then develops into a spike. And they also produce roots, which is awesome. So we're good to go. Now I'm not gonna put it back in the same pot. Don't wanna be doing this again in a year, unless the orchid grows so vigorously that I have to, which is then wonderful, but not for the sake of just repotting in a year's time all over again get the old microfiber back into a new and a bigger pot. If I had, the previous one was a 15, now I'm going up to an 18 centimeter pot. There we go. So there's that. I need a support, just in case, you never know. And now let's get the lecker in. Secure the support. And all of that jazz before we put the orchid in. Let's see. Now I have a back. In this case, I have a back. I don't have to worry so much. And I get it as far back as possible. I think that's too high. So let's get rid of some. I don't want the new roots to be looking for the media. I want the media to be there or have the new roots already underneath to some degree. It's interesting to see how tall the orchid already is. I have far too much lecker in here. At least to begin with, it's too much. If I want to raise the orchid afterwards, that's fine, but not at the beginning. I want to have some room to maneuver. So this is a bit of a fiddle. Maybe it's because I want her further back than she's letting me be. So I'm not going to force it. Nope, not going to force it. You can do you. But I will have her secure in the front by putting Lekka right in the front first. Where's the tips? No jiggling of Lekka on root tips. If I can avoid it, I try to avoid it. I'm gonna hold down the orchid and shake. And then we can fill in around the back.
All right. And I think we're good. I'm going to leave that one root right here a little bit exposed for the time being. I want to see how it, the growing dynamics is, if I can tease it down into the media, just because there's more humidity down there. And then once it curves down, which is the plan, cover it up. But for now, thank goodness, Stamfordianum is repotted on a nice November day. There we go. That'll be it. Let's hope for some spikes come the new year. This little node right here could actually be a perfect candidate for a spike. And let's hope that it doesn't stop growing simply because something was done to it. It's going straight inside where it's nice and warm, same temperatures indoors as outdoors. I try to keep it that way in order to eliminate or reduce any kind of shock of having been moved around. I don't want it to stop what it's doing with the root growth. So same temperatures indoors, outdoors, and now it will go indoors and hopefully not notice anything has happened to it. One final thing. A little bit of the good stuff to the reservoir. So there's that. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions regarding what you saw, what I did, please take advantage of the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. And let's talk. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye.